Today we're going to be talking about defense and position awareness. This is very important to the game of baseball of knowing where you're at on the field and where your teammates are at on the field. So as we get uh, into this, the first thing that we have to know is the situation. Is there guys on? Is there no guys on? How many outs? Where potential plays may be? So on and so forth. Okay, and that all takes place uh, during that pre-pitch mental check of the situation. All right. Defensive awareness, it is consistent whether you're infield or outfield. Basically, when you're taking your eyes off the ball, you know where you're at on that field. All right, so basically we talk about having eyes in the back of our head. This, is, this holds true. Typically in the infield, it's a, a ball up the middle where an infielder is spinning a shortstop, plant, turn, throw. You see it on Sports Center all the time. You're talking about a third baseman going to the line backhand, jump, throw, whatever the case may be, okay? That is position awareness, that is field awareness. This is knowing where you're at on the field and knowing that when you take your eyes off that, off the uh, off the plate or off of where you wanna go with that ball, you know where you're at. I wanna talk about it as when we're an outfielder, okay? I get it's very similar to the infield, however, it's a greater space, it's more ground, it makes it a little bit more challenging, all right? The first one I want to talk about is just simple balls in the gap, down the line, something that you're really having to haul your butt to in order to get that ball and get it into your infield. So the second I break and I'm tracking for that ball in the outfield, okay, I'm finding that ball, I want to be able to find it here, plant, stick, and throw, and know exactly where my teammates are going to be. Because it's not just where you're at on the field, it's knowing where your teammates are supposed to be in order to make that next play. Okay, so again, this is something that it takes time. It is something that you know you have to have confidence in. We don't want to just be grabbing the ball here, chucking, and being out of control. Obviously, that does a lot more harm than good. We got to make sure we're going through our cutoff. That way, it gives them the opportunity, whether to let it go, to catch it, whatever it is. The next thing I want to talk about is if there's a potential play. Typically balls in the gap, balls down the line, depending on who the hitters are. Okay, I'm just going to use the situation as, you know, no one on, no one out. Got middle of the lineup guy, hits a ball down the right field line. As an outfielder, I'm running to it. I'm going to plant. I know, because I have a mental clock in my head, that that's an automatic double for sure. Now, can it be a double with a play at second, or is it a for sure double? How do we know? You look, you know, depending on where they're at in the lineup. Are they a top half of the lineup, bottom half, where they got speed? Are they a bigger stature guy, a smaller guy? Whatever it may be, you do have an understanding of guys that can run, guys who may be a little bit slower. So for the purpose of it stuck, the concept, I'm talking about a guy who may be average speed, where I may have a potential play at second base. Where I go for that ball, I plant and I go, and before I even look, I'm already set up and lined up ready to go. So just to kind of give you an understanding, I'm here, I go get that ball, I plant. I can shuffle if I want, obviously that's taking a lot of time if you need to get more on that throw, but I'm here, plant, and I'm up and I'm going, and making my strong throw through the cutoff, okay? Can there be a, pot a potential play? Could it be something where maybe that guy does have some speed? Maybe he's going for third where we're gonna use that cutoff to then throw through where he can cut it and turn three, depending on your arm strength, okay? Field awareness is very important. We are taking our eyes off the field on a regular basis, okay? It could even be just simple fly balls, trusting on your teammates being lined up if there's a potential tag, a play at a bag, Okay. If I'm going into the gap, catching a ball here, again, I'm taking my eyes off the field frequently. Okay, And it's not just about you who's receiving that ball, it's about knowing where the rest of your teammates are in correlation for you to make that next play. It's just as important, it's something that you need to get very comfortable with, and it's crucial for uh, player development when it comes to defense. So, that is the topic for the day. Field awareness, eyes in the back of our head, knowing where our teammates are going to be, as well as myself when I take my eyes off, off, the, uh, off the field.